This video provides tips and instruction for successfully conducting a quantitative fit test using the strapless N95 mask from Avery Dennison Medical. The fit test measures the proper seal of the mask on the test subject. This is measured by particle output emitted by the subject's breath. A passing score indicates a properly sealed mask. A failing score indicates the need to refit and or select another size of mask. A successful test can be conducted using five easy steps. Step 1. Choose the correct mask size and practice applying the mask. Correct mask application and sizing are crucial to ensure proper fit test results. Be sure to select the proper mask size and practice application at least three times before conducting a fit test. Be sure to use a new mask when conducting the actual fit test. Review the instructions for use, application video, quick start, and sizing guides prior to mask application. These materials can be found on our website. Step 2. Set up the port account. Be sure to conduct all daily checks and regular maintenance on your equipment to ensure the machine is working properly. These checks will provide confidence in the test results measured. Once you have conducted your daily checks and have confidence there are no leaks in the testing equipment, you may begin testing. Step 3. Attach the probe to the mask. Be sure to use a new, unused mask for the fit test. Hold the mask up to the test subject's face to determine the proper location for the probe. The probe should align with the nose and mouth region. Use the probe assembly tool to insert the probe into the mask. Make sure the flat side of the probe faces the inside of the mask. Ensure the probe does not move or spin by trying to move it with your fingers. If the probe moves, use the probe assembly tool to tighten it. Step 4. Apply the mask to the face. Apply the mask according to the instructions for use. As an additional check, have the test subject press around the entire seal again, paying special attention to the nose and cheekbones as well as the area under the chin. These are the most common sources of leaks. Have the subject wear the mask for 5 minutes before beginning the test. Step 5. Test the mask. Enter the required information into the machine to begin the test, such as the subject ID, mask type and mask size. Be sure to follow the manufacturer's instructions and facility protocols when conducting the test. Have the test subject complete an additional check around the perimeter of the mask to ensure a proper seal. Have the test subject breathe in and out deeply. The mask should inflate and deflate with these breaths. Once confident of a proper seal, the test can begin. Attach the clear hose to the probe on the mask. Have the test subject hold the hose to prevent pulling on the mask. This hose should be held for the duration of the fit test exercises, especially when bending over at the waist. Ensure there is adequate slack in the hose as to not pull on the mask or risk disconnection during test movements. The test subject will then be led through the eight fit test exercises, normal breathing, deep breathing, moving the head side to side, moving the head up and down, talking, grimacing, and bending over at waist. Check the score after each exercise. Once the test movements are complete, the machine will process the subject's score and provide a pass or fail rating. If the test results in an overall test failure, instruct the test subject to apply a new mask, paying special attention to proper application, especially the areas around the nose and under the chin. 
the test subject may need to try an alternative mask size to achieve proper fit. Through this testing process, healthcare professionals will learn how to most effectively seal their strapless N95 mask from Avery Denison Medical for maximum protection on the job.